So that's Nightfall card number two. Nightfall card number three. Nightfall card number four. I should have kept the heavens aligned and had the second, the other heavens aligned be Nightfall card number four. Would have been, I'd, like, I basically would not have had played this Evershade Stalker. I could have played Loping Telescope instead. But this lets me kill Misfortune. So that's big. And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat, and everybody on YouTube for some Echo Diana. Gonna be our next of these random champion decks. Wasn't the easiest one to put together, but I think it could be pretty good. We got Nightfall and Prediction, uh, putting those two together. Plus, we got Loping Telescope, right? So how bad can our deck be <laughs> when we get to play that card? But yeah, we got a good amount of different Nightfall cards for Diana and um, all the... All of, basically both, of the Piltover and Zon cards that predict for Echo with the Perfectionist and the Time Trick. And hopefully you can hit, have Perfectionist hit Time Trick. But I kind of figure that we're going to need to play a longer game because we're not going to be able to be super aggressive with Diana and Echo. So in order to help play a longer game, we're going to be playing Lunari Priestess as our other Invoke, like the Invoke 3 drop, not the Crescent Guardian, the 5-3 Overwhelm. I'd rather just have uh, this card to Invoke and get some some uh you know more invoke cards and then we have a dragon top end because we're gonna need we're gonna need some kind of top ends we got an enviolus fox an eclipse dragon and an infinite mind splitter i do feel like infinite mind splitter is pretty good these days there is mini morph that's not great but besides that you know stunning cards like poppy and scion and all that kind of stuff and just having them just be stunned infinitely is a good option for getting rid of them Eclipse Dragon, of course, is, is Nightfall, and then Enviolus Vox is just awesome, <laughs> and can make some more dragons for us, so that's that card's really cool. So that's what that's going to be what we're going to have. We'll have the Heavens aligned that can maybe make some more Eclipse Dragons or, you know, other top-end Nightfall-type cards also, but that's going to be our deck. So let's go ahead and get to it. Let's play some Echo Diana. We'll go play our five games in Normal. Dragon Telescope, play, manifest a 6 plus cost dragon. There's kind of that in uh, Demacia, right? Like the, the 2 mana 1-3 that Egghead Researcher that just creates a random dragon. You don't get to manifest it, but it's kind of the same thing. All right, Teemo, Caitlyn. So this is the kind of matchup why I have all like the Aftershocks in the deck. Let's just send it all back. Let's get 1 and 2 mana cards and an Aftershock. Because Aftershock can blow up the Hexcore Foundry. Predict is good against Flash Bombs, right? Because Flash Bombs are usually in the top 10. But then you can predict and shuffle them all away. Another day in the field. Yeah, I was kind of hoping to find something earlier for Teemo. Moonsilver. Moonsilver is good with Nightfall cards. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to trade there and save that one point of life. It's possible. So I want to see if, if it was Peddler. Uh, do I want an Echo? Echo's probably a little vulnerable. Take more Heavens Aligns. We want... Um, we want cheap cards. But if, if, yeah, so like basically if that was Peddler or Foundry, I was going to be able to Aftershock it. And I guess the other thing the Perfectionist does is it does put more cards into our deck, so that is... 
you know, more cards means less cards with puff caps. So that's good. They're Kaelin deck also, right? Yeah. I'm not good at finding anything to get rid of this Teemo. Unless I want to just use the Aftershock. Which, I do not. Okay. More Aftershocks. I guess the Teemo will be leveled up. Maybe I should have used the Aftershock. Yeah, maybe I should have. Um, one card that we could have hit with that Nightfall card would, would have been, uh, like, the Silence Two Things. Five mana. Silence Two Things, maybe would have, we would have hit that. Yeah, that would have been good to use to get rid of Teemo. To deal with the Teemo. Good block. Good block, opponent. Oh, Alright, well obviously that thing has to die immediately. I guess I'll just stun this Yordle for the next round. Hot on the trail. Can you improve perfection? Oh, yeah, you're a good one to have. We draw more of those aftershocks that I made. I'd be happy with that. Farina, what brings you here? Business and pleasure, Sheriff. Excellent. Well, well, I'm trying not to lose, and I'm not doing a good job at it. Should be able to just attack with both and, and kill me. Good hand, opponent. Good hand, GG's. Alright, 0-1. Good deck, good hand. Alright, we're back to the same matchup with Caitlyn Teemo again. Hopefully we don't get Teemo'd again. They had the round one Teemo last time. I do this... 
Uh, see, Pale Cascade just draws a card, which I don't want. But I do have the Shade Stalker now. That could block a Teemo, but we have to figure out how to enable the Nightfall on it. We need like a Heavens Aligned to play first. Yay, no Teemo! Alright, this is already better than last game. Usually I would take Messenger, and usually I'd be very happy with Messenger, but again, we don't really want to draw cards. So I guess it's one of these two, so I guess it's this thing. Getting that in play to stop the Puffcat Pup. I'll thank me later. Or not. Or yes. Forgive me. And then I'm definitely gonna play the perfectionist and shuffle those flash bombs. For something to kill Peddler. Please do not kill Peddler. Oh, but I need to choose something so I just get more copies of stuff in the deck. I should have chose like Echo, I guess. I'll just get three additional cards in the deck. Not sure which one to kill. I kind of think it's Peddler. No, we'll go Caitlyn. Uh. Yeah, I should have killed Peddler. But Caitlyn just makes combat so difficult. Both ways, attacking and blocking. Never had luck, never needed. I do my own stunts, whatever the cost. So I don't know if I actually want to play like the predict draw cards, right? Because we don't want to draw cards. So that's kind of awkward. Darkness hides in my path. All right, gotta get two, three. They're running out of stuff. They do have a lot of puff pups. Daybreak card. Ooh. Daybreak lifesteal. And now I want to play that thing. Okay, they just kind of ran out of stuff. They just had all their two mana two twos. Like, literally all of them. All three clump of ones. All three of the. The little doggo. Puff cap up. Her light is our sword, her womp, our armor. Things aren't gonna improve themselves. 
Forgive me. So I think we're gonna get this. What a mushroom hell. I think we got this. At least it has to trade also, that. right? Alright, so they're down to one. And unless we get super unlucky with puff caps, we should have this game. We'll lead with the heavens aligned to see if we draw it. Um, the three two, the drains. Nope. I guess we can see what you manifest. That card's not really necessary. All right, let's make a bunch of copies of Envious Box because that card's cool. Now let's make a bunch of copies of. Aftershock. That card's cool. Machine's bright. Super cool. Your idea, Kay. But glad you like it. You should take an infinite mind splitter. Alright, get the win. We are one and one. Got the revenge game on Team of Caitlyn. GG's. Pyra Burn, that's not good. I think Pyra Burn's really well positioned. The last couple days, like, whenever I see Pyra Burn, it looks very good. I think this could be a well positioned deck. But this hand, if we need to get out, you know, early, this hand does that. Now, Misfortune is the card I really hope that they don't have, because Misfortune makes these blockers much worse than normal. So, hope and no Misfortune. Oh, they passed as well. They smart. Looking for trouble. Man, and they have misfortune. Oh, this is all went this all went downhill. Mother Wait, one nightfall card to Tar to get rich. Why is Misfortune not attacking? I guess they don't want me to do any damage to it. Or Diana. So that's Nightfall card number two. Like a fish in water. <laughs> Nightfall card number three. Embrace the night. Nightfall card number four. The moon is our queen. The night, her kingdom. I should have the heavens aligned, and had the second, the other heavens aligned be Nightfall card number four. Remember, night. Like, I basically would not have had played this Evershade Stalker. I could have played Loping Telescope instead. But this lets me kill Misfortune. So that's big. Mind Meld? That could be kind of cool. Alright, um... Messenger sounds good, but kind of so does Aloof Travelers. The thing about Aloof Travelers is, like, their expensive cards are, like, Gangplank and Decimate, like, some cards that can be really, really troublesome. We'll take some more Loping Telescopes. Sunburst would be good against Gangplank, so maybe I should take that, but it's not really good against anything else. That's not ours. Yeah. 
So you get these decimates out of their hand. We again have to play the um, Evershade Stalker for this challenge. We got a lot of damage out of their hand, like Nexus damage with a Fervor and a Decimate gone. They're, they're out of cards now. I don't care about that echo anyway. Alright, gotta love that. Go get him, Sun Guardian. I think we're about to be two and. Um, twins. I think we're about to be two and one. Yeah, they, they kind of had to fervor the Nexus. Wait, why am I not just aftershocking their Nexus? I guess could have done that too. <laughs> oh well. We kind of lose anyway. So, we'll take a 2 and 1. Nice victory. And now we got Darkness Control, but with Elise and PNZ. It's like, you know, Karina. It's a good hand. It's not good against specifically round two Elise. I hope they don't have round two Elise, but I, I like having just the invoke stuff to play a longer game. Because that's what we're going to have to be able to do is play a longer game. Oh, we got Diana that's just kind of hanging out. Doing Diana stuff. Hey, Atreus. Yeah, probably go hard deck. I'll just take the messenger. Oh, mistrates. Well, I'm not set up to be the best against mistrates right now. I think these are all too expensive. I'm gonna skip. Good. Yeah, this is definitely a different deck than what I was expecting. I will be heard. Go, Diana. Yeah. Diana's been really good. Alright, first time you slay a unit with a spell, summon an ephemeral mistrace. Alright, Diana's at 2 out of 4. Best possible hit is Equinox, probably. I won't be able to play it this round. Yeah, so they're... they're that counts as slaying a unit with a spell. So they get a Mistwraith. And draw two. 
Who's Equinox? Do I still want that over the Serpent? Yeah, I think so. Daylight fades and dusk soothes. As the moon rises, quiet reflection begins. Gonna help me play Nightfall cards. You can't slay my looping telescope if I slay it first. I'm doing this so that's the third night or so sorry, so that's the fourth nightfall card for Diana. Okay, so it still counts as the fourth nightfall card for Diana. Alright, that's as far I'm going. You, you get a you get a mistake. With resplendence, but they could not break me. Ooh, onlooker. Man, this cosmic rays is just pretty intriguing. It could obliterate this the undying but when will this bloody conflict end all things in cycles someday we will be one face your heretic oh they i i can have some stuff die no it's just not worth it Alright, so maybe I shouldn't Equinox that. Maybe I should have Equinox the Undying. Considering I just killed that with the Diana that round, and was probably going to be killing it with the Diana anyway. You were misguided. Meet Destiny! The light of my star warms the heavens. I would like to have the Sunless figure be able to protect that, but I guess not. Long road behind, long road ahead. Him, Diana. I don't really know why I'm not attacking with these two ones because I, I don't have any space anyway. I should definitely be attacking with the two ones. It's just going to do like two damage to the Elise or whatever. But yeah, I should definitely be attacking. Expecting like vengeance, something like that to kill Diana. So Diana's done a lot of work and then trades with like a seven mana vengeance spell or something like that. Yeah. That was a lot of work that Diana did. But yeah, I should be attacking these two ones. Alright, back to 16. That's good. And not gonna play... I was gonna say not gonna play Echo, but... Yeah, okay, okay. I got I got these. Those things can block. Oh, man. How do I not take Howling Abyss? I have to take Howling Abyss. Both these other cards are great, but I have to take Howling Abyss. Yeah. I mean, it's my favorite card in the game. I'm not going to pass it up. It was not the best card to win the game. I think that maybe taking the Aloof Travelers probably was. But the other one was going to be a 3 3 elusive, which would, you know, paired with these other elusives. Well. Concentrated forgiveness. Yeah, 
yeah, it's it's Random Champion, Casual Friday. We're having a fun day. We're taking Howling Abyss. And now, I really, really want to play Howling Abyss this round. I hope that I get to. I hope they don't get, you know, get too aggressive and, like, fearsome and stuff. And then I have to, like, play other, play other cards. So I could send it to two. But that's it. It looks like we get to play Howling Abyss this round. Yeah, that's fine. Howling Abyss! This is not the optimal play, but who knows? Maybe we get like some awesome level 2 champion and we're gonna be like, yeah, that was the optimal play. You are beneath me. I guess we can block there and keep my lifesteal thing alive. Hide no longer. I know your true heart. All right, so this way we go to 13. This way we go to 18. 13 with life steal unit still, or 18 no life steal unit. Let's go 18 no life steal unit. So young. All right, who do we get? Nasus. Alright, Nasus is pretty cool. It's got spell shield. The cycle begins new. Spell shield's messed up. Alright, so I can turn a spell shield. Awesome! 4 1 Howling Abyss Nasus, let's go! Patience and fortitude outlast all things. That was really cool. Alright, Echo Diana keeps our 4 1 streak alive. How about this? Random Champion Casual Friday, all 4 1s today. Pretty crazy. You know, I, I, liked our, uh, I liked our deck. I liked all these just different invoke cards and everything. Uh, was Echo the best? No, not really. Was Diana the best? Absolutely. Diana was very good with all these different uh, Invoke cards and Loping Telescope. And then Practical Perfectionist and Time Trick were okay. You know, they were okay. But then we got, like, some removal from Piltover and Sonic with Aftershock and Gotcha. And sometimes we had, like, one of those games that Echo just attacked a bunch, and that's that was pretty nice of just being, like, a four-power quick attack attacker. We didn't get to do anything cool with the dragons, unfortunately, but that's that's all right. That's how it goes. Having the line was awesome. So Echo Diana got some wins. That's what it's all about. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of these random champion decks. Hopefully y'all are having fun seeing some really weird combinations, you know, Echo Diana, for example. Um, yeah, let me know over there in the comment section. All right, but that's it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next one.